Welcome to the Dolphin, sir. Are you checking in? Yes, Mike Enslin, please. And how are we spelling that today? E-N-S-L-I-N? Yes. Do you excuse me a moment, sir? Mr. Enslin, Gerald Owen, manager of the Dolphin. If there's any way I can be of assistance while you're here, uh, dinner reservations, theater tickets, maybe a Knicks game, anything, just tell me I am at your service. Well, if I can just get the key to 1408, I can get out of your hair. Oh, we were thinking of upgrading you to a penthouse suite. 1408, please. Position again. Mark. Camera. Yep. Two ninety. Take one. And set. Uh, background action. Action. Oh, most hotels use magnetic cars. Actual keys. That's a nice touch. Yeah. Antique. Oh, so do we. But electronic things don't seem to work in fourteen oh eight. Mm -hmm. Things like computers, cell phones. I hope you don't have a pacemaker. General Mer Manager Gerald Dolan said that uh, phantom interferes I with... I never you. said the word phantom. I hope you don't have a pacemaker. Uh, General Manager Olin says a phantom interferes with electronics in the room. I never said phantom. Uh, spirit? Spectre? <sighs> Sir, I don't think you quite understand. It's, that's not the sort of thing that's in 1408. Well, what is it? It's an evil room. And uh, we met with someone who's holding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. And we have that line. So we, we reverse on the side. We have electronic keys also, but electronics don't seem to work very well in 1408. Computers, no. cell phones. Uh, Hope you don't have a pacemaker. General Manager Owen says that uh, phantom in room... I never said phantom. Uh, spirit, Spectre. No, you misunderstand. What's in 1408 is nothing like that. What is it? It's an evil room. Monsieur, can you look at the papers, s'il vous plaît? Oui. So that's kind of a history of, of the book. Um, are there any questions? What's the scariest place you've ever been? I never heard that question before. I'm kidding. Um, I would, you know, these places, they all have very colorful histories. Um, Bar Harbor, the site of the Grizzly McTeague wedding night murders. That place was pretty intense. Uh, heard that question before. Um, I would have to say, I mean, these places all have very colorful histories, uh, all of them. And um, Bar Harbor is a really, really, really scary place. You know, the site of the Grizzly McTeague wedding night murders. Um, also, St. Cloud, Minnesota where the crazed war widow threw her baby down a well. That, those places were thick. You know, they really had something going on. 
To experience a paranormal event, you know, to catch a glimpse of that elusive light at the end of the tunnel, sure. Um, be great. So you're saying there's no such thing as ghosts? I'm saying I've never seen one. But they're awfully convenient for desperate hotels when the interstate moves away. Unique and inspirational and honest. What's your name? Uh, uh, Anna. Anna. Okay. Are you going to write another, another book like that one? No. Different guy. And it was right, maybe around 12 foot up. Yeah, it was about 5 foot 10, 6 foot pillar. Yeah. And action. Come in, make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. Is 1408 a smoking room? Actually, yes, it is. Good. One less worry in the watches of the night. Do you care for a cigar? No, I don't smoke. Oh, that is a uh, affectation, superstition, you know, case of nuclear war. It's a writer thing. No, nah, but you do drink, don't you? Hey, I said I was a writer, of course. Take one. Well, no. Sorry. Pick up those still. And... Action. Do you mind if my friend records our conversation? Take that as yes. Sir, you completely misunderstand the situation. Now, I know the Dolphin doesn't have the cachet of the Plaza or the Carlisle, but we operate at 90% capacity, always. And my concern here is not for the hotel, and my concern here is not for you. Frankly, selfishly, I don't want you to check into 1408 because I don't want to clean up the mess. Okay, let's go then, please. Yeah, so let's go for that. I'm saying you just take this like So is John Satan of the stone? Yeah. Mm, no. John is standing right here and then he comes around and he's standing at the same time. He's actually standing. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually standing. Right. I gotta go totally nuts. It's hard to think yeah. of. Come here. Silence now. Yes, I see you've done your research. Go on now, please. So it's kind of from picking up from. It's mutilation. Yes, I see you've done your research. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I'm still staying in the room. Oh, oh damn it to hell. Okay, look. Here, take the file. Take the godforsaken thing and read it. I guarantee you, once you've read it, you won't want to stay in 1408. Yeah. 
Show me that one, Paul. Did you know that serial killer Ed Gein had inspired three major films, Psycho, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Silence of the Lambs, not to mention a whole lot of cheesy straight-to-video movies? When police raided his farm, they discovered masks, bowls and lampshades made of skin, decapitated heads and even a belt made of nipples. Ugh.